Hey guys, good morning. It's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home, and today I thought it would be a fun video to take you with me throughout my day and share with you guys what I eat in a day, what I'm feeding myself, my kids, my family. I'm a busy mom with four boys. One of them is only two months old, and I just thought it would be fun to take you guys along with me. Um, I love to cook, I love to bake. I try to uh, feed our family with whole foods, healthy ingredients, and I'm not perfect at that by any means, and it's fall and it's baking season, and I love baking delicious desserts this time of year. So right now it's about 8.30 in the morning. I just finished getting ready. My boys are all waking up, and we start off every day with keeper smoothies, and um, it's great for gut health, filled with probiotics. We add fruit, raw honey, and this is how we start almost every single morning with a smoothie. So I have one, my kids all have a smoothie. I even make a smoothie for my husband because he comes home during the day and um, we just love them. Okay, so the keeper is usually not that difficult to strain. It was pretty thick this morning because we didn't make smoothies yesterday on Sunday. We just throw some bananas in ours, um, some raw honey, and some frozen fruit. And you have yourself a keeper smoothie. It's delicious, filled with lots of probiotics, really yummy. And that's what we start every day with. All right, guys, we just finished up our language arts and math and Bible for the morning. So we are gonna move on to breakfast. We've finished our smoothies. Usually I already have breakfast made by now, but I'm running a little bit behind today. So I think today I am going to make oatmeal. We've been on an oatmeal kick lately. And um, if I were super healthy, I would have soaked my oats overnight. I didn't do that, but that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna probably do like a cinnamon oatmeal today and the boys love it and it's really simple so that's what time when he made oatmeal it was very very soggy <laughs> last time I made oatmeal it was very soggy okay well <laughs> oatmeal tends to be soggy but Gabe do you like it you like oatmeal yeah okay they like oatmeal so um all right I always buy organic oats. Oats are sprayed heavily with chemicals, so I, I'm sure to buy organic. I also try to get gluten-free oats because um, sometimes they're manufactured with other types of, you know, other products that contain wheat. So um, most of you already know how to make oatmeal, so I won't go into details. I just cover the oats in water, cook them on medium heat. And then I like to add maple syrup to my oatmeal. It's delicious, it adds sweetness, but then of course we're avoiding sugar where we can. So um, basically <laughs> when it comes to food, what I try to do is stick to whole foods. I try to stick to foods that um, are just basically the way that God created them. And uh, really we try to avoid those middle aisles of the grocery store where there's a lot of processed foods. I think people get overwhelmed with eating healthy because um, they're checking labels and they don't understand ingredients. But if we just stick to whole foods in our diet, it makes it so simple. And that's what we try to do, um, is just stick to a whole food diet the best we can. Um, doesn't always happen. In fact, I'm thinking about making apple crisp today. I need to throw that recipe up on my blog because every time I make it, I have people over on Instagram asking for the recipe. And that definitely calls for brown sugar. I've tried to substitute maple syrup for that. It doesn't work. So, oh, Isaiah's over there squawking. I'm gonna go pick him up in a little bit here. We'll start on lunch. The boys for today are going to have sandwiches and probably a vegetable and some fruit, something simple.
I'm gonna make myself some salmon today. And lunch for me every day looks different. Most of the time it's eating leftovers. I try to eat leftovers from um, dinner the night before, but I have a couple of random salmon fillets in my freezer. So I'm gonna cook one up and eat it with some salad. And that'll be a nice bit of protein for me to get me through the rest of the afternoon, help me not to crash, not to crave sugar, give me energy, fuel for my body. So I'll take you guys along with me as I cook that up. I'm just gonna take a salmon filet and saute it for a couple minutes on each side in some lemon infused olive oil and butter. And then I'll just have that with a salad with some mixed greens. And that'll be my lunch today. I'm actually not that hungry. The oatmeal really filled me up. So it'll be, um, it'll just be a nice light lunch today. Usually I like to stick a lot of things on my salad. Um, I love mixing like fruit and veggies, like an apple and cucumber <laughs> salad. All right guys, it's time to move on to my dinner time prep. Okay, I spent some time vlogging and getting some work done and so now my husband should be home here soon and I wanna get dinner pretty much prepped for him so that when he gets home he can just throw the chicken on the grill. So that's what we're gonna do. It is gorgeous outside and normally this time of year I'm making soups and stews and doing a lot of things in the oven but because it's so beautiful, I'm gonna have my husband grill some chicken so I'm gonna prep that with some olive oil and seasonings, and then I'm going to chop some asparagus and potatoes and roast those in the oven with olive oil, salt and pepper for pretty much until you smell them. Once you start smelling foods that you roast, you know they're done. So the potatoes will go longer, I'll stick those in now, and then the asparagus only takes about 12 minutes, so. All right guys, the potatoes are done. They're delicious and crispy. What I like to do is pull them out of the oven. Um, I could have stuck the asparagus in at the same time, but they were done sooner than what I thought they were. So my husband just threw the chicken on the grill. On my chicken, I did garlic and onion powder, paprika, Italian seasoning, olive oil, salt, and pepper. It's delicious. It adds a ton of flavor, and once that comes off the grill, the asparagus will be done. I'll stick the potatoes in the oven just to warm up again, but they're really hot right now. Um, and then we should be ready to eat. So I'm so excited about this meal. It's simple, delicious, and that's how I like it. So while my husband works on the chicken out on the grill, it just needs a couple minutes on each side, I'm gonna get started on this apple crisp and work on the topping.
All right, guys, I'm trying to get some light over here by the window, but <laughs> dinner was so good. It was delicious. My husband cooked the chicken perfect. It was juicy and tender, and we are gonna end the night with some yummy apple crisps. So I'll be sure to put this recipe on the blog post. The link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this vlog, and if you wanna see more videos like this where I share what I'm eating with you, I know it always gives me ideas to see what other people are cooking. So I hope it was a help to you guys. If you are new here, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.